So the point is that uh, this model that we are going to create will be for meta platforms. So you have the annual report, which is meta platform and you have the Excel. So this is the first sheet of the model where I have just written the income statement line item, starting from revenue. Then you have cost of revenue, then you have gross, gross profit, then you have research, marketing and general expenses. Then you get operating profit, which is EBIT. Then you interest deduct, you get PBT and taxes will get net income. So we need to fill all this data from the annual report so you can come to the income statement page which is page number 88 so this is the page number 88 of uh, meta which has the statement of income which we will use to the data will be punched here in this income statement right but before we actually punch the data we need to uh, add the labels like for which all year we need the numbers so i need number for 2022 you can write it down and uh, use a zero decimal column this uh, point so that you don't have any decimals you just need to have 2022 right then what we will do is is equal to i will use 2022 as a cell then i will do plus one so that will make it 2023 then i will drag this control r i get 2024 and same way i'll just keep on dragging till 2029 so please do this quickly everyone done so make sure that this is a hard punch 2022 from the cell, but rest of the things are plus one, like plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one and all. So the plus one should be a black number. These are or should be a black. If you don't find black, you can get the black color from this. And this first number should be a blue number. This is the blue because we are following this uh, rule that all the hard punch data will be blue where I'm just inputting the data and typing the number and all the black numbers will be formulas like this. So we have this formula, which is D4 plus one. Uh, I, cannot, I cannot punch data, so I can't. I think you have to enable numbers. editing at the top. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You, you have to enable editing. If you see uh, enable editing option, Mr. Nallu, or otherwise, if you still face issues, let me know. I will see your screen. You can share your screen to me. Yes, sir. Now, now it's okay. Yeah. Now it's okay. Okay. Yes. Now the point is coming back to the labels. Just follow the instruction that I'm doing, right? Select these three data, 22, 23, 24, because you know that we are going to use the data, historical data for 22, 23, and 24, which is a historical data, right? And remaining 25 to 29 is a forecasting period, which we will forecast today, correct? You just need to select the first three historical data, then go to this drop down, and then go to more number formats. Just follow the steps. Once you reach here, click on the custom. Okay. And then you need to type something that I'm going to type, which is inverted comma, FY, FY is financial year, then space, inverted comma, close. Then you can type a zero, just a zero digit. Then again, inverted comma, then A, A for Apple, then inverted comma, close. So this is the syntax you have to type, the whole text. If you want, I can share this text on WhatsApp as well, in case you'd like to see. This is what you need to type. Correct. The moment you type it and say, okay, see what happens. I got my numbers formatted as per the format I provided to the Excel, which says FY, FY is a format, then space, zero means 2022, which I mentioned, and A means actual. So what we are trying to say is that we are going to have a financial year number here, which are A. A means the actual numbers, which are historical numbers. So please do this and confirm once done. And if you want me to repeat, I can repeat also. And you need to confirm me if you are able to do it or not. Done. Done. What about Kanak, Mr. Nallu, Priyanshu, and Somil and Rochan? Yes, sir. Done. Done. There's yes, one person sir. in the name of iPhone. Please, can you rename yourself or I can rename, you can let me your name. Sir, could you please show this once again? Yes, yes, sure. So I will select these three, okay? Then I will go to custom. Sorry, I will go to this drop down. Then I will go to more number formats. Then I will go to custom. Under that, I will have to type this, which is 
एफ वाई विच इज एन इन्वर्टेड कॉमा एफ वाई स्पेस इन्वर्ट कॉमा क्लोज जीरो देन इन्वर्टेड कॉमा ओपन ए इन्वर्टेड कॉमा क्लोज एंड देन ओके is that clear now the thing is that you need to select the remaining part which is from 25 to 29 this time and again we are going to format this but there will be some small changes in it so i will again go to the drop down then i will go to more number formats then i'll go to custom then i will go to this type which is inverted comma open fy space inverted comma close then zero same thing which i have written but instead of a i will write e the only thing difference is that the same syntax will be there but instead of a i will write e e means estimated numbers because we are going to estimate those numbers and then i'll say okay so this time instead of a i am getting e in the remaining the only difference is that otherwise all the steps and everything is fine is is same is same so please complete this and let me know once done so that we can move forward yes sir done done great so guys these small small formatting also matters a lot don't consider this as a useless practice because many people say that okay this is not financial number we are just so just formatting is also equally important in financial model right so now we will start we need to punch some numbers here in this area and you have the income statement with you so whatever i am doing just you need to follow that uh, steps i am going to copy the revenues which is 11660 of 22 so in 22 i will put that revenue and that way you need to copy the numbers that i am copying and paste it as i am doing it please start doing it in your sheet wherever in doubt you can see my screen and understand how i am doing it if you if you face any issues okay then you have cost of revenue so cost of revenue is 25000249 then 25959 then after that i am pasting the research and development research and development for 24 marketing and sales 15000 then you have general and administrative which is 11816 so guys pasting is also not easy so whatever i am doing it you you should have you should be doing it right now and you should be comfortable doing it you should have that practice to copy paste then i will copy the ebit which is 28944 so guys don't paste anything which i am not paste sorry sorry don't paste anything which i am not pasting there are certain blank cells also so keep looking at my sheet and paste only those things which i am pasting just avoid other numbers that's so like i avoided these two numbers i am not pasting these number from the annual report so please do don't do that
So these are the numbers that I have pasted. 